if you are someone who wants to increase your income through content creation but you never start or maybe you get started and end up on the way this particular video is going to help you because this video will surely point out some of the reasons why you've quit or you didn't start at all and how you can manage these reasons so that you can start creating your contents to start making money or to start marketing your business here and there now we can all see that content creation is becoming bigger and bigger at first if you come on social media you only see like just a few people and most of us they classified us as those of us who are starting something from scratch but now if you come on the internet you can see that a lot of billionaires and rich people are now creating podcasts rich people are now hosting shows on youtube on facebook and other platforms this means that content creation they've seen they did their research as seen that you know content creation have the power in the world we are now so instead of them to just focus on their business they want to chip in the content creation to expand their business because it's one way for them to market their uh, their business and at the same time make some extra income for themselves so in my opinion if you want to start content creation like we are not late at all because new platforms will be coming we recently seen thread and then we also see how tiktok is also performing and then youtube as well more and more will be coming so if you're someone who wants to jump into content creation and all that you are not late in the system at all so reason number one why a lot of people wish they will create content but never start or sometimes start and end on the way is the fear of criticism now criticism if you are someone who is online or someone who is posting on social media and all that definitely people will post negative comments about you and someone can even go all the way to your personal staffs okay like maybe someone can send a message direct to your family someone can send a direct insult to uh your spouse or anyone at all so if this is happening and you don't have the heart you will stop creating content which means the reason why you want to create the content is that because of someone's negative comment you are not going to you know actually achieve that goal so if you want to create content to promote your business because of the negative comments you can continue so when this happens or you have this kind of thought in your mind you have to understand that see whatever you do in this world there is criticism like people will definitely criticize you what can you tell me right now that you are doing that people are not talking about you in the negative way even Dangote, people are criticizing Dangote, people are criticizing Akufado, people are criticizing um, Mahama. So, how more me? So, criticism is everywhere. You have to accept that, guys. Reason number two is the fear of failure. You know, some of us, we don't want to create content because we feel like, what if we start and we are not able to continue? Because probably you've seen someone who start and end at some point. So, you're also scared that you might probably stop on the way and it might be a waste of time and all that but you have to understand that if you want to start creating content go into something that you can do for a long time it should be something that you are related to so that it can make it a, a bit like smooth for you for instance maybe you've been a uh, molding block okay you've been molding block you can be creating content about molding blocks when i started creating this content and i was like um like 200 subscribers i was also asking if baby i'll be stopping on the way i actually asked myself but sometimes i also ask what if like it happened and it went in my like it goes in my favor so these are some of the things that you can use to balance the negative comment if the bad one comes like what if i fail you can also ask what if like it goes in my favor okay in that way the things can balance and with a little push you can start creating your content number three is perfection if you are someone who wants to start creating content on social media or podcast and something like that you have to understand that if you are starting from scratch it's not easy for you to be perfect sometimes you watch other people and you feel like your videos or your content should be like these people but the truth is these people have been doing it for a very long time even if someone start a new channel and the person is like giving out quality content and all that perhaps he started somewhere from a different channel for a very long time so you who is starting from scratch you can't be perfect as him so you just have to start with a little um, gadgets or the little knowledge you have so that at least 
uh, you start little by little and then you move to the next level. If not, you can start creating content. Number four is looks. Now, if you're someone who wants to start creating content on social media and you are thinking about how you look and all that, the truth is, if you are beautiful and handsome, it counts. It adds more value to your content. But the information you are giving in the content is more valuable than your looks. What I mean by this is, if uh, my nose, like I will not give any sign, like maybe if I have a problem with myself and I'm still on the camera talking, people don't even care about me. Like they don't care about me as a person. They are only interested in learning or getting some information from me so that they can also apply it in their daily lives. So that's the main reason why they are there to consume my content, not me as a person. So if you're someone who is thinking, oh, I'm not handsome, I'm not beautiful, or I'm too beautiful to do this, I'm too that and all that, you end up not creating any content. So the best thing to do is to take this out of the way and go into giving value to people so that people can subscribe to you or follow you and in that way, your business will also be expanding a little by little. Social media is not, you know, it's a way to make money, all right? But it's not just about getting um, AdSense, uh, getting paid through advertising on through AdSense. You can also make money by promoting your personal business. So that's one thing you should have in mind as well. You can also use it to promote yourself. Maybe that can be a virtual CV or something like that. So you can have that at the back of your mind as well. So the fifth thing that prevents a lot of people from creating content is that some people feel like they don't have enough knowledge to share with other people out there. But the truth is, if you want to have a hundred percent knowledge before sharing it with other people, then you end up not sharing anything at all. Even teachers, teachers, they don't have a full knowledge about something before teaching. They have to make reference, go and do research before teaching it out there. So if you are someone who knows something small and you can share with someone who lacks that knowledge, then you can go ahead and create content about that. The focus here is not to make content for who is at your co-equal or who is uh, more advanced than you. The goal here is to create content for someone who is below you so that that person or that, that person can get that knowledge from you and then also apply it in his or her personal life. So guys, if you want to have like the apex knowledge before start teaching people or sharing on social media, then maybe you will not maybe, you know, promote your business. So for instance, let's say that a real estate agent and you offer the course for six months. Does that mean you don't have enough knowledge to share about real estate agency? Always you are learning about it. So you have more knowledge to share. Even if you don't have the knowledge yet, you can go and learn it and come and share what you've learned. So you don't have to say, oh, maybe someone has completed Harvard uh, in the real estate industry, so I don't have to share my contents. That person should come and share. That person is not going to share. The goal here is to share with someone who is below you so that that person can also learn something. The sixth thing that prevents a lot of people from creating content is the result. If you've gotten a less result or you've gotten no result or you failed and all that, Sometimes you will not be inspired to share anything on social media. For instance, if you trade cryptocurrency and you make losses, or maybe you make losses in most cases, you will not like to share that loss on social media. That's what prevents a lot of people from creating content. But the question is, what if you share what you did and you lost and someone learned from that mistake? That's it. So don't say, I've not gotten the great results, so I'm not going to share that on social media. If you want to start making some side income or let people know what you do, then don't be scared to share the failures as well. But you have to be strategic about that. You don't go about sharing every failure of yourself because it's not going to be a good business strategy because if you are sharing most of your failures, you are not going to get the attention of people. People will always see you as someone who is failing. So at least you can also share some things and maybe the corrections you've seen that like if you would have done this and that you get a good result, you can share that on social media and people 
will get the attention as well. The last thing that prevents people from creating content is that people are engaged in other activities. For instance, maybe, yeah, as at the time of making this video, I'm also having a call to pick right now for someone who is looking for a property to rent. So maybe if it comes like this, it will be difficult for someone to put content out there. But if you want to be marketing yourself or you still want to get to broader audience, then creating content is one of the best ways to go. I believe this short video has helped you guys. Now you will not be discouraged to create content again because I've given you different reasons why you have been stopping and how you can go about it. I believe this video has helped guys. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and give this video a like if it goes in your favor. Thanks for watching guys. I'm going to see you in my next video.